What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute shoulder workout with dumbbells. So grab your dumbbells and let's get to work. What's up guys? Welcome to your 40 minute shoulder workout with dumbbells. As you can see I have kind of an array of dumbbells and this workout is going to be a drop set shoulder workout. So I want you to have at least two sets of dumbbells, if not three, where you can drop down from first circuit, the heaviest weight, second circuit, medium weight, third circuit, lightest weight. Okay, I want you to go for as many reps as you can with that heavy weight. The next round, you're gonna drop down one more, as many reps as you can. So that's what I mean by drop set workout. So if you have dumbbells options, grab at least two, and if you have three, grab three. Okay, we'll be doing moves like shorter press, front raises, side raises, bent arm open and closes. So just think of a wide array. I have five pounds, eight pounds, and 10 pounds for myself. We're gonna be working for 45 seconds at a time, resting for 15 seconds, okay? I know it's a lot of information, but I wanna get you prepared before we start so you know exactly what we're getting into. Um, also make sure you have water and a sweat towel. In those 15 second rests, you might need to wipe off some sweat, grab some water. So without further ado, let's jump right into the warm up. We're gonna put two minutes on the clock and start with backwards shoulder rolls. Okay, join me in three, two, one, here we go. Here we go, reach up and back. Nice little bend in the knee so you're not flipping your stomach back and forth, just a soft bend. Three, two, switch directions, one. All right, let's go forward now. So this workout goal is all about strength. Okay, muscle burnout, muscle development. So we are gonna be focusing on getting as many quality reps in as we can. Let's cross your body here. All right, make sure technique is always your number one priority. If you can't manage a weight, if your back starts to arch or anything like that, I want you to drop down in weight immediately. Don't worry about only staying with your heaviest weight. If your form is going bad, then don't worry about the form, or don't worry about the weight. Drop down to a weight that you can control, not one that you can manage to move, okay? I want control at all times. Pull the arm over and switch. Good, now grab your fingers together, lace them together, reach up over top, I want you to pull over and back. Nice tall spine. Let's open up this lat posterior delt area back here. There we go. I love this one. It kind of wakes everything up, right? Gets the core engaged. We will, as you push heavy weight on your body, your core does have to be woken up, has to be working for you. All right, go ahead and release. Give me a little shimmy. We're gonna start together in 15 seconds. Your very first move, I want you to try and grab your heaviest weight, alternating shoulder presses. Okay, starting both hands here. They're going up one at a time, okay? Three seconds, so go ahead and join me in two, one, let's go. 45 seconds right here. So we've got three rounds of each exercise. You'll notice I have a slight bend in my knee as well as a slight uh, separation of my feet. And that's just so I'm not here arching my back, okay? Give me all you've got in this 45 seconds, and then we'll drop weight. I want you to give me all you've got there, and we'll drop weight again, okay? <sighs> 10 more seconds. Push, push, push. There we go, let's get the blood flowing. Five, four, Three, two, one, rest for 15 seconds. Okay, drop down to your lighter weight. As the weight goes down, your muscles will get tired, but I want you to try to increase the speed. Okay, control technique is always number one though. Come up in three, two, same thing, one, let's go. Keep the abs tight. Make sure as you get tired, you're not going here with your chest. Keep that core tight, everything stays straight up. There's lots of angles that you can play with for your shoulder press too. You can go out wide here. You can kind of go diagonal here at a 45 degree angle. 
and then you can also go in front. Okay, give me 10 more seconds at this weight. Let's go. Seven, six, five, three, two, one, rest. Very last round of alternating shoulder press. Drop down one more time. This should be your lightest. We're the same weight as last round at least, but I want you to increase your speed one more time. Progressive overload at its finest. Two, one, let's go. Complete one at a time. And you'll find that these lighter weights feel just as heavy as we get down to the end of this drop set. Next exercise, we're actually gonna be isolating one arm at a time, so that will be a little bit slower. 20 seconds, let's finish strong. There you go, starting to burn really good. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one, rest. Woo, great job. All right, next exercise, you have a left arm front raise. So only your left arm is coming here. You may not be able to do your heaviest weight, so maybe grab the medium weight for now, okay? Two, one, go ahead and join me. Just your left arm. And I want this slight little bend here in your arm, okay? So you're not depending on your elbow joint, okay? It's just that anterior deltoid. Control it up and down. Breathe. As it starts to burn, I want you to really think about your breath. 15 more seconds. You can stay at this weight next round if you want to. If you need to drop down, you can. We've got three rounds either way. I want you to stay heavy for at least the first round. Two, one, rest. I'm gonna stay right here for one more round, then I'm gonna drop down. You can pick if you wanna drop down now or round three. Okay, if you can manage one more round at this heavy weight, stay with me, okay? Four, three, same thing on this right arm. Two, one, let's go. Also make sure from a technique standpoint, you're not popping the dumbbell up with momentum, okay? That's a momentum swing. I want you to lift with the shoulder and lower with the shoulder, okay? That's it. 20 more seconds here. Shoulders are getting strong. I know they're getting warm. I can feel mine. There's nothing better than a nice rounded shoulder cap though. I love that look. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. You've got one more round. If you need to drop down, you can. If you have a weight that you can manage, one more round right there, stay there, okay? I'm gonna drop down so I can get a couple more reps in here. Four, three, last round. Two, one, let's go. Good. Coming straight out from your shoulder. Make sure you're not coming out wide here. That's a different exercise, we'll get there. So isolating one arm at a time. So if we have any imbalances, we're working on those. If one arm is stronger than the other one, I don't want you to use two different weights. I want you to go a little bit slower, working at the same weight with both arms. Okay, we've gotta even it out. You can't just accept that they're unbalanced. You've gotta work on leveling the playing field for both arms. Seven seconds, let's go, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one, rest. Same exact thing with the left arm. Okay, front raises, three rounds of front raises with your left arm. In eight seconds, we're gonna go together. Okay, try your heavier set here, going right out front. In three, two, one, let's get it. Remember, slight bend in the knee, abs are tight. You're not arching your lower back. You're not swinging your dumbbell up off your leg like this. Come straight out from your leg, right up in front of your shoulder. And there's no need to go any higher than shoulder height. Okay, just keep it right to your shoulder, back down. 
something that helps me sometimes is actually closing my eyes, feeling the muscle, feeling it isolate. Can you really feel that front part of your shoulder working hard for you? Even put your fingers on it. Two, one, rest. All right, should be getting warm over here. Should feel a little heat coming off your shoulders. All right, round two. If you can stay at this heavier weight, stay here. Okay, last round if you need to, we can drop down. Three, two, one, let's go. Also make sure as far as your wrists go, that you're not lifting like this, okay? And the wrists are something that we don't actually pay attention to a lot, they just kind of do the work for us. But if your wrists are weak and you try to lift here, it's gonna be a lot of pressure on those tarsals, okay? Keep your chest straight, hips are straight. Whew. That's it, 15 seconds. Good work. Give me 10 more seconds right here. That's it, I'm with you. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, round number three. If you need a drop, you can. I'm gonna drop as well, get a couple more reps in. Okay, a little shimmy shake at any time you need to do this today, I'll be doing it with you. Round three, two, one, let's go. Last round through. And then we'll switch back to the left arm. Back to the right arm, sorry. No, back to the left arm. <laughs> These mirror cues are hard sometimes when you're focused on your reps. Good work, guys. We'll switch back to the other arm. That makes more sense, huh? Good work. There will be a point in this workout where you think, man, I don't think my shoulders can do any more. Give yourself a five second break, come back in, okay? It's 40 minutes, I'm with you. Okay, you can give a little shimmy break. Three, two, one, beautiful. Okay, next move, we're going over, back to the left arm. You're going lateral raises, okay, from the side. In 10 seconds, we'll go together. Try that medium weight out, okay? Three, two, one, let's lift side and down. Keep your core straight. It's easy to kind of want to do this, right? Shift everything over to kind of help you. Keep it straight. Chest is straight, hips are straight. Nice soft bend in your elbow. 20 more seconds. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Can you give me one more time with this heavy weight? Let's go round two with the same medium to heavy weight, and then we'll drop down on the last round. Okay? Shake it out if you need to. We've got four, three, two, side raise again on that left arm. Let's go. Mind muscle connection. Think about the muscle you're using. Okay, I always try to engage the muscle first before I lift off, and then make sure that's the one working for me. Good, there we go. 10 more seconds here. Five, three, two, one, rest. Whew. Great job, one last round here on that side raise, and then we'll switch to the other arm. Isolating one arm at a time up front, the second half of this workout, on the back end of the workout, we will go both arms together. All right, two, one, last round of side raise, let's go. Might feel light at first. Whew. As we get into it, this last round, the burn sets in. Also, another thing to pay attention to, make sure your trap isn't shrugging, okay? Sometimes if our traps are stronger than our shoulders, they will try to compensate. 
and you'll do this kind of deal. Okay, relax that trap, keep it flat. I want you to go out and up, 10 seconds. Let's go, five, three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, the fire. Okay, swing it to the other side. Same exact thing, lateral raises, okay? This is exercise number five. You've got one more exercise after this. That's one arm at a time. And then we're working both arms together on that back end of the workout. Two, one, let's lift. Great job. Think out and up. Here we go, 20 seconds. You hear a lot of these out of me today. We just have to remember to breathe, okay? Gotta do that. Every time you lift, think about exhaling. Good job. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, you can drop the dumbbell, shimmy shake it out. Whew. Five seconds. Here we go, grab that dumbbell. If you wanna drop down, you can try to stay at this weight one more round. Let's go. I'm always gonna challenge you to push yourself. In fitness, in nutrition, in hydration. You can ask the Sydney Squad. If you're not sure what I'm talking about there, make sure you check out the Sydney Squad link in the description. But I'm always pushing, focus on your nutrition. How can that be better? Focus on your hydration. How can that be better? While we're here in the workout, it's all about pushing yourself here. Okay, after the workout's over, you gotta push yourself the rest of the way and the rest of your life. 10 seconds. Whew. Five, four, two, one, rest. Okay, one more round. We've got 15 seconds. That last round of side raises. Whew, lifting my water bottle is hard. <laughs> Whew, three, two, light is set right here. One, let's go. Don't swivel the hips, keep them tight. <sighs> yes, come on. I'm with you. Shimmy if you need to, don't stop for more than five seconds. Jump back in. Just because I know you can. All right, I know you're capable of finishing this workout, crushing it, looking back. Maybe you can't raise your arms at the end, but you're gonna look back and know that you gave me everything that you had. Come on, four, three, give me one more. Two, one, rest. Woo, amazing. All right. Grab those medium dumbbells. Your next exercise is open and close at shoulder height. Okay, bring your dumbbells right to your forehead. One at a time, open, close. Ready? Here we go. Lots of core involvement here as well. So if you feel yourself twisting, I need you to challenge yourself to draw back to the middle, okay? Think about keeping those dumbbells right at eye level, forehead level. Whew. This is a tough one right after that left arm. <laughs> the left arm is struggling a little bit. Give me 10 more seconds. Whew. Let's go, we got it. Seven, six, four, three, two, one, rest. Ooh. Okay, I need to drop down to make sure I'm not compromising my form. If you need to as well, that's fine. Seven seconds. This is a tough move. It's constant tension, right? Two, one, round two. Bring them up. Here we go. Open to 90 degrees and back in. Okay. The work here isn't necessarily in the open and close. It's keeping these elbows up high, right? Keeping them at the same level. Think about a pendulum. Swinging out, meet in the middle. Oh boy, yes, this is a burner. 
No more than five seconds, jump right back in. 15, 14, 13. Seven, six, five, two, one, rest. Okay, 15 seconds, one more round there. Keeping it real. This is just as hard for me as it is for you. Okay, we're pushing ourselves, so that's what we should feel. Three, two, very last round, one. Let's go. If you need to close your eyes, you can do it. I do that sometimes. I don't know if you guys notice or not, but sometimes I'll just close my eyes, try not to think about anything but the muscle and my breathing. Here we go, come on. 20 seconds, shimmy if you need to. We're back into it. 15. Good, stay with me for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, let's go, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Oh boy, okay. Grab those medium dumbbells. We're moving on to the second half of your workout. Two arms at the same time. First move is a high pull, okay? Both arms at the same time. Come with me, two, one, let's go. Control on the way down just as much as on the way up. Drive the elbows high. Make sure you're not drawing them out to the side. Draw them high and diagonal, okay? 15 seconds. Seven, six, Two, one, rest. Drop those dumbbells, relax your arms. Okay, make sure that was your heaviest weight that you can control. Stay here one more round if you can. All right, and the last round can be your lightest set. Here we go, three, two, high pulls, one, let's go. All about getting stronger, right? Envision yourself with the arms that you want those beautiful shoulders. That was one of the first things that I kind of fell in love with when I started strength and conditioning in college. Just the way that my shoulders finally got some definition. Before college, I had never lifted a weight in my life. <laughs> so when I got to college and I started working out, I started seeing muscles in my shoulders. I thought, man, that looks like I'm athletic. It looks like I care. I'm working my body hard. I love it. Two, one, rest. Okay, we got one more round here. I'm gonna switch to my lightest set and we're gonna speed that up a little bit. Okay, make sure as you speed things up, you're not bouncing. Okay, just drive only the arms. Two, one, let's go. Another thing I catch myself doing sometimes when I'm tired and I catch my clients doing sometimes when I'm tired, when they're tired, <laughs> is trying to get their chest to the dumbbell, okay? So make sure you don't lift and lean into it. Keep everything nice and tall. Your arms are driving up for 20 more seconds. 15. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. All right, beautiful job. Your next exercise, you're going to go bent arm raises, okay? We'll try the mediums. Okay, so keeping your arms here at 90 degrees, both arms at the same time, up and out. 2, 1, let's lift those elbows out and up. Oh boy. <laughs> Make sure you take your dumbbells with you. They stay straight out from your elbows, so you're not leaving them here, okay? Take them up and out with your elbows. 
Think about reaching out and setting your arms on tabletops, right? Everything goes out, 90 degree angle with your elbows. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Whew, good, okay. Round number two. I may need to drop down so I'm not arching my back. And that's okay. We're just getting that long time under tension, okay? Whatever you can control, let's do it. Two, one, here we go. Up and out. And if you do move down to that lighter weight, just increase the speed. Either way, it's progressive overload. Okay, if you're going heavier, you're going faster, with control, of course. We are getting more reps in. Either way, there's an increase in some form of the tension. Notice my dumbbells are way out away from my body. Ten seconds, come on. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Whew. One more time through, and then we're gonna move on to shoulder press. So with that shoulder press, I know you can move all the way up to those heaviest dumbbells. Okay, one more round of bent rows here, or bent arm lifts here. Two, one, let's get it. Exhale, come on, breathe. Your muscles need oxygen. You gotta breathe. That's it, 20 seconds. Fifteen. Get those dumbbells out and away. Come on. Make sure you're not bouncing. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, next exercise. Shoulder press. Arms are together. All right. Bring it right here. Up and down. Okay, I'm gonna save my reps for this one. <laughs> two. One, grab those dumbbells and let's press. Take a staggered stance with me to make sure that you're not arching your back. What I mean by that, one foot's in front of your hips, one foot's behind, okay? If your feet are together, it's very easy to do this, okay? Stagger that stance, center your hips right in the middle of your feet and let's press it out, come on. Good, don't bounce, it's all shoulder. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, let's drop it down, medium weight. Whew. Unless of course you wanna stay at that heavy weight. If you drop to the medium, let's increase the speed a little bit. Stagger those feet, it doesn't matter which foot is in the front, you're just putting your hips right between your two feet. Ready, let's go. Most of us will tend to put our front foot, the strongest foot forward, it doesn't really matter though. You're not doing anything with your legs but balancing. Okay, so if we were doing push presses, that would be different, but your legs are just separating to balance your body, to control the core. As you get tired, don't let your back arch. Raise the roof, come on, 10 seconds. Four, two, one, rest. Oh, 15 seconds, one more round of shoulder press. And we are not shoulder pressing anymore after this one. <laughs> All right, lightest weight. If you're going to your lightest, you're increasing your speed. Let's try not to stop for the whole 45. Ready, let's go. You think lightest weight seems the easiest, but your muscles are totally fatigued at this point. So it's about mentally pushing through all that burn, okay? There's a difference, of course, in burn and failing form. If you can't get your dumbbells up here, drop the weight or just do one arm at a time. But shake it out, try to jump back in with two. Come on, 
15 seconds. Give me all you got here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, we're going front raises. Remember, arms are together. I want your fingertips on the front of your legs. We're lifting together, okay? I'm gonna try my medium weights. Let's go in two, one, front raise. Here we go. This one, super easy to get your hips involved. I don't want your hips involved, okay? Just the arms. There's just as much work happening on the way down as on the way up. Eccentric, concentric. That's it guys, come on. This is exercise 10 out of 12. We're right there. Everything's burning, everything's telling you to stop. We're not going to, we're in it together. You can do this. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, okay, two more rounds through that. Evaluate, can you do one more round at this heavy weight? I think I can, I'm gonna stay here for one more round. This is my medium weight. Two, one, let's go. Round number two. Try to bend my knees to make sure I'm not letting my hips push my body whatsoever. Or push my arms, I should say. Some people will kind of use it to get a little kickstart, but I want that initiation from the bottom, from your shoulders. You'll be able to feel the difference. Good, relax your traps. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, very last round. Last round of front raises. Let me grab a quick swig. Quick swig. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Round three of front raises. Keep the chest up. Don't let it fall here. Keep it up high. Come on, we can do this. Just to shoulder level, you don't need to go any higher. You can probably guess what's next if you remember the front end of our workout. We did front raises and then side raises. You're right. Come on, we can do it. Give me seven more good seconds. That's it. Come on, three, two, one, rest. We're going into three rounds of side raises. Arms are together. I'm gonna stick with my light weights because I'm fatigued and I wanna make sure I don't compromise my form and that's fine, okay? Whatever weights you're using, make your form good. Great, okay? Ready, let's go. I'd rather you go lighter with control or try a couple reps at that heavy weight and then when your form starts to fail, go down. That's it. Good form. Get those arms all the way out. Make sure you're not lifting the elbows and leaving your forearms down. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Drop the dumbbells. Shimmy it out. Whew. These drop sets are not easy. They really do push you to your max for three rounds in a row. Okay, and for us, 12 exercises in a row. Two, one, let's go. Make sure at the end of each 45 seconds, those last couple reps are tough, okay? Not to the point where your form sacrifices, but make sure that the last couple reps are tough for you. Mentally, stay right here. 
You are fine, we're okay. It's burning, but we're almost done. And our goal today is to get stronger. Physically, we're pretty much maxed out right now. You're going at 100%, so mentally, tap in. What are you telling yourself right now? Rest. Good, we've got one more round. What I was saying, mentally, make sure everything you're telling yourself is encouraging, is positive. Okay, I know it burns, I know it's hurting, I know it feels like we're almost not gonna make it, but we are. We're strong. Two, one, last round of side raises. Here we go. Encouraging thoughts to yourself in fitness and in life. Just keep thinking, yes, I can. Yes, I can. That's it. Your body hears what you tell yourself. Just like what you tell other people, your body hears it. Talk to yourself in a way that encourages you to keep going, to keep making these positive changes, to keep pushing to get stronger. Let's go for 10. Come on. Four, three, two, one, rest. Your very last move. You remember the first round, what our last move was? That bent arm open and close. All right, so we're here this time. Both arms working together. Whew. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Bring them right to the forehead. Open, close. This one is the ending because it is whew, that constant tension, right? There's not really a rest in this 45 seconds. Mentally, it's a test. Can you talk yourself through it? Ten seconds. Seven, six, three, two, one, rest. Ah, <laughs> we're almost there. Whew, anyone else feel like they have noodle arms right now? Whoop. Okay, round number two out of three, four seconds. Grab your dumbbells. I know, I know, come on, we can do it. Dumbbells up, let's go. Squeeze here in the front. Get those elbows close together. Whew. You'll feel your chest engage a little bit here as you bring them in together. And that's great because your pec ties into that anterior deltoid. Okay, so we're getting that tie-in location right where they meet here. Okay, for girls, that's kind of like that tough sports bra area. Come on. 10 seconds. Five. Two. One. Rest. Oh. Okay, we've got one more round. What are you telling yourself right now? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Come on. Shake your arms out. Grab your dumbbells. Yes, we can. Two. One. Let's get it right here. This is it. Think of the end goal, right? Nice, beautiful, strong shoulders. Think of the, the way that your tank tops or your t-shirts or your sports bra fits right over those shoulders. How good do you want them to look? Whew. Come on, push through that burn. We've got 20 seconds, let's go. Squeeze. Yes, we can. 15 seconds. That's it, 10 seconds, go. Close, open, come on. Keep those elbows up, lift them up, come on. Four, three, two, one, rest. Oh, guys, we have made it through our 40 minute shoulder drop set workout. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you guys. If you can manage to lift your water bottle, grab a quick drink and we'll drop into a stretch. Don't skip the stretch. This stretch is gonna be crucial. I know a lot of times if we do shoulders, our traps can kinda jump into that workout and that if they're tight, it can cause some tension headaches. So make sure you stay with me and we stretch these out, okay? Also got some exciting news for you at the end. Okay. 
okay? So stick around, just breathe for a second. I know there's a lot of blood in your shoulders right now. They're feeling good, they're feeling warm. Let's cool them down a little bit together. Okay, let's take just the left arm, circle it back, okay? Let's let it rotate by itself for a quick second. Give me eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and let's switch over to the right arm backwards. One. There you go. In the next couple of days, if you worked your butt off like I did, I'm sure I will be sore, I'm sure I will be feeling it. So make sure you're still stretching. I have a really great shoulder stretch in my stretch videos playlist. Another thing you can also do is just walk through a doorway, put your hands on the back side of the doorway and kind of step through, letting your arms open up. Same thing on the back side. Grab one of the back side of the doorway and just kind of let your body float away, okay? I know that may be hard to visualize, but grab onto a doorway. Let's go up and back, guys. Whatever it is, legs, arms, any body part that's sore after a workout, don't let it just sit there, okay? Get it moving, stretch it, and get that lactic acid out of there by actively moving it. All right, pull, pull, and as the clock rolls down to zero, fantastic news, guys. I'm gonna give you guys 20% off of the tank tops on our website. I'll put the link in the description below. 20% off of tanks and 20% off of my 30 day transformation program. For everyone looking to get into that well-rounded fitness aspect, take it and do it on your own. That 30 day program is amazing. It has nutrition, the big nutrition program that I swear by. Okay, so if you're just not sure how to eat to really get these results coming in, Grab that 30 day transformation, 20% off right now. And then of course I would love to see you represent, have some sweaty selfies in your Royal Change or Sydney Squad or Crushed It tank tops. Okay, so scroll down in the description of the video, you'll find all your promo codes as well as the Sydney Squad membership that we just released. I talked a little bit about that in the beginning of the workout, but that's that accountability community. People from all over the world are there sharing recipes, motivating each other, checking in with their workouts. I give you guys live access to myself as well as additional professionals answering your questions. And then of course I have daily challenges as well, which can range from mental challenges, how you're thinking about your lifestyle, nutrition challenges, a gallon of water, eat three veggies today, whatever the case may be. And then of course physical challenges like 50 push-ups or 50 squats. Adds up to be less than 70 cents a day. So pretty incredible, but I just wanted to be able to give you guys more than just your workouts because I know, just as well as you know, it's an entire lifestyle. That's where you see the changes, okay? So if you're looking for those changes, you're looking to finally step it up and see those results, check out that Sydney Squad membership and all the discounts in the description below, okay? I just wanna help you guys as best I can. You guys have an awesome day today. If you finish this workout with me today, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe before you head out as well. And I cannot wait to see you again tomorrow. Comment below that you crushed it with the flex emoji and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye guys. Woo!